Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the navigation data. The navigation data, or also known as the nav data, contains the following. It contains the ephemeris, the time of the week, the clock corrections, the almanac, and the ionosphere data, and a few other things. And we'll get into the details of what those things are in the next videos. The nav data is a simple bit stream of ones and zeros, and it runs at 50 hertz rate, which is kind of strange. We have a navigation data set that contains a lot of information that the receivers need and it sends it at a 50 hertz rate of ones and zeros. That means only 50 bits per second. The data is then placed in frames. The frames are each 1500 bits each, so 50 bits per second, 1500 bit frames. Well, if we do the calculation, that means that each frame takes 30 seconds to transmit. Not only that, you need 25 frames to send the entire message of the navigation data. So 25 frames, 30 seconds each frame, 12 and a half minutes to send the entire navigation message. That seems like a lot of time. Well, the navigation message, if you look at the data, consists of both data that the receiver needs on a regular basis and they needs to be updated. So those are then sent in each frame. That means it only takes 30 seconds to get the updates to that data. And then the rest of the frame is then filled with data of the entire navigation, or I should say the entire GPS constellation. And that can then be added up over a time of 25 frames to get the entire message across. That means that that data is only updated once every 12 and a half minutes, which is just fine because that data is not as critical as far as getting updated as some of the other data that contains like the time and the clock corrections and so forth. Notice here the structure of an entire navigation message is that there's 25 frames. Each frame takes 30 seconds to transmit. Each frame contains 1500 bits. So when you add them all together, the entire navigation message contains 37,500 bits. So one navigation message is indeed the totality of 25 frames. So the total number of bits, 1500 bits per frame, 25 frames per message. One message contains the 37,500 bits. The navigation message, which is at 50 hertz frequency, is then added to the CA code, which is at 1.023 megahertz rate. And we do that via what we call the modulo 2 adder. That means that if they're both high, it goes to low. If one of the two is high, it goes to high. If both are low, it stays low. That's what we mean by the modulo 2 adder. Keeping in mind, of course, at 50 hertz rate, that means there's only one bit every 20 milliseconds. And during that very same 20 milliseconds, you will have, wow, 20,000 bits of the CA code. So it's basically a ratio of 20,000, plus or minus a few, I'll get the exact number, about 20,000 bits of the CA code for every one bit of the navigation message. The navigation code also gets added to the P code. The P code, remember, was at 10 megahertz, a little bit over 10 megahertz. That's the basic frequency of the satellite. And uh, we'll show you later what the P code is and how that's added as well. It's the technique is also the modulo 2 adder, and we'll show you later how that is all combined. Then eventually, when we take the combined navigation code, which is combined with the CA code, that gets then added on top of the carrier and we'll show you the technique that's used there as well so that the satellite can then send via the carrier wave and we have the L1 and L2 frequencies we can then show you that this will then combined with the CA code will go on the L1 channel and then we'll show you how that gets added to that carrier wave how the bit message actually is embedded onto the carrier wave and we do that with with frequency modulation and you'll see in a moment how that's done well not this moment because that's for another video. But now you understand the basic concept of what the navigation data is, how the message is structured, and now we'll get into the details of what that actually contains and how that message is really structured within each frame and within each word of each frame and so forth. So stay tuned if you want to know more about the navigation message.